Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I am going to be showing you a updated version on how to make thumbnails. Okay, so um, today I'm going to walk through like how to do it on Blender and then I'm going to be using Photoshop. So yeah. Um, first, to get the skin you want to go to Nova Skin. Dot me. That link will be in the description. And um, let it load. If it ever wants to load. Okay. Um. So now you want to search up your skin you want. And um, for the blender rigs, you need the pre 1.8 skin, which you can't get on Nova Skin anymore. So I'll show you how to do that. So um, I'm just gonna type in my name I can't even type <laughs> and you want to put it down and click it and it'll be right there so now you want to save it to anywhere you want just remember where you saved it as um, so let's just say I saved it okay now you want to click here up on the top it says old version so you want to click that Let load. Okay, now you want to open the file that you just saved of your skin, and then you want to save that, and that'll be in the pre 1.8 skin. Um, let me show you here. See, it is the pre 1.8 skin, so it'll work for Blender. Okay, now you want to um, open your Blender. The rig you want to use. I'm going to be using the same rig that I used in the last tutorial. So if you already know how to use Blender, um, sorry for this because I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Okay, so on the side here, um, right here on the um, bottom tab, you want to go to like the image one, go down, unclick sky, and check UV and that'll make a transparent background so you can do that with um, Photoshop. Now you want to go down to the bottom bar on the skin page and you want to go to image, replace image and find where you put it and here it is. No, that's not it. Um, let me find it. Here it is. Alright, I'm just going to be doing a um, thumbnail request for somebody during this video because um, multitasking works <laughs> okay so this process isn't very long actually so um, I usually have some sticky notes up and it will show and it will like um, tell you what you need to do so I don't at the moment but yeah I'm going to position. Oh, wait, one more thing before you touch the character. On the sidebar above the bottom tab, you want to go here, click that one. Not the first one, the second one. And that'll allow you to move the bones with the skin moving too. Okay, um, so just a quick review of how to um, move. You can um, right click to move, um, that dislocates the joints or you could hit R to rotate and that's what I usually do so you um, right click to select and R to rotate and it does depend on um, where you're facing so if I'm facing like this it will rotate that way but if I'm facing like this it'll rotate that way so you know you gotta be careful of that now I'm gonna go back Here, it's gonna do a little simple position. I think that's the same, yeah. Pretty close, whatever. Um, so now I'm gonna do the legs, same thing. I'm just gonna do like a uh, crouching position. Right out of it. Just 
so like that and now up on the top you want to do render render image because we're not doing an animation yet and that will work but you can't exactly see the back just because of um how um like we have a transparent transparent black I can't talk transparent background the hair is black so in the background is black as you can see but the same with the shoes it will um, kind of make it disappear but that's okay and now I'm gonna like rotate that in a bit too much and now I'm gonna take the body and kind of tilt it forward a bit tilt the head back um... that should work okay now to add this is new um... you want to go to file append or shift one shift f1 i mean uh... as you can see shift f1 now you want to find your blender um... Um, I'm going to go to downloads. Now you want to find your um, Blender file. So mine is here. And now I'm going to go to blocks. Object. You always want to go to object. And you want to find what you want. So I want a diamond sword. Um, just double click it. And scroll out and it's right here. Drag it onto your player. Or pretty close to your player. Hit S and size it down. And if you're new to Blender and you have no idea how to use it, just um, I suggest looking at my other video, which will also be in the description, to um, do the basic concept of moving and everything. Because I just explained it on that, and I really don't feel like making another video on all that. So I'm going to drag it up to the person that's still too big. That's good. There we go. Alright, um, crap. I don't want to move the lighting. And now you kind of want to rotate it to, um, perspective so it doesn't look like all jumbled and crazy. Now I'm going to rotate it out a little bit. And kind of move it onto the arm. I'm going to rotate it up. And that looks good. Crap, I should move that back a little bit. Okay, that works. And just hit, um, if you're on Windows, just hit Control Z to undo what you've just done. Okay, um, I like that. Now I'm going to add a bow. So same thing, file, append, um, find a bow, a B, a bow. Okay. And it could um, spawn anywhere. So you kind of have to search for it, which is the one bad thing about this. And then you have to kind of get it over. Set down. Here, I'm going to rotate it that way. Now let's render that. Okay, that's too high. Render. And I like that. Okay, um now I'm just gonna maybe no, I think the pers the perspective's good. Um okay, so now to save the file, make sure you're happy with it before you render again. Render for one last time, just check it over. And then go down here to the bottom bar image. 
um, save as image or F3 and then you just want to find where you want to save it um, hit enter and I'll save it as a PNG and then hit enter again and it will save it okay now I am going to open Photoshop everything load and I'm just gonna check my file to make sure it's saved and never close your blender file unless you know for a fact that it's saved because if you do that you rage so hard <laughs> if you didn't save okay so there it is I'll drag on to um, Photoshop close blender um, okay now I want to okay this is kind of big so I'm just going to drag that out a bit, hit Control T, hit Shift to get the perspective the same size. And then just drag it over here and hit Enter to save my changes. Okay, now I'm going to go to um, the background. Pick one. Um. I want to try to get one without any shadows, so I'm going to do that one. I'm going to drag it in, and then drag the layer in. Okay, I like it how that is, so drag the layer under. Um, I rename it. I rename it just because it keeps it a little more organized, but you don't have to. Alright, now um, you might want a, um, all right. you might want to add some text. But first, I'm going to double click. Let me just show you that again. On this side, um, this is an older version of Photoshop that I'm using. So you want to double click on here, like, or the picture, just not in the words, because I'll rename it. And then that'll bring up the blending options. Okay, now you want to click the drop shadow text, not the checkbox, the check, the text. Okay, um,. For my usual settings, I do for distance 13, 12, 21, and that leaves a nice shadow. Right, and that's all you should do for the, char the character, at least. Um, now you want to add text, and yeah. So I'm just gonna um, get the text tool over here. Um, just type over here, um, and I need to get the right, um, font, and I use, where is it, um, I'm just going to search it, I use that text, right there, um, you can just search it up on, um, on Google, and it'll probably come up and it just looks like that which is pretty nice okay now i want to size the text up a bit about 200 okay so i want to write um i'm going to scale that down a bit i'm going to do survive all on one line and that is way too big so i'm just going to do control a and size it down a bit there we go no, oh, a little smaller. There we go. And then just hit on it. Okay, right, now I'm just going to keep all the text together so it's a little neater. And I'm going to go down to this folder item, create new group. And I'm going to rename it text and drag survival in. Okay, now I'm just going to go with my text tool and kind of center it and write games and then just click on a layer drag it and crap click on it drag it under survival just to keep it organized okay now you want to go with your uh, mouse pointer tool and just kind of center it just kind of eye it that looks good okay now don't worry about the color so far you can just keep it black or whatever color you want because we can change it after. Alright, now I want to go back with my text tool 
go here. Um, I'm gonna change the text to like a handwritten or something. Crap. Mm. Let me just scroll down. Find one I like. Kind of a um, sort of sloppy one. Um, let me just look at the one I used before. Uh, where is it? Um, I don't know, but um, you're just gonna find a um, kind of a messy text. Uh, maybe, let me, um, do, um, try this one. Um, alright, um, doesn't want me to do that. So I'm just going to find it. Look for E, here it is. Um, no, that's still too faint. Okay, this one. Now, I usually use this one. So I size the text down to about 90. And I'm gonna do width. Um, Shadow Gamer 5. drag that over and that's too big so I'm just gonna size it down a bit more still big enough so people can read it and then that looks good okay so for the um, this one what I suggest is um, just double clicking the layer do a drop shadow uh, 12 13 21 and do a inner glow and just keep it as the default stuff and that looks really nice you could change it obviously but I just like it like that and okay, now I'm going to double click survival not on the text but away from it so you don't edit the text now I'm gonna add a drop shadow to every one I do just to make it a little pop out I'm going to do a stroke center I like it best, but you could do outside, which kind of makes the layers more fat. Inside, which kind of um, trims them down, but I prefer center. You can just play around with those. And change the color to like a um, darkish gray to a black. I would stick with black, but it depends on your background. If it's like shadowy, then you probably want to go with the grayish. Okay, right, now you want to go to gradient overlay. Always click the um, words, the text, not the checkbox because then I will go to it, but say I want a color overlay, it won't show me the um, settings for it. Okay, on this, you just want to click this um, gradient box once, double click on this, and um, find a color. I usually keep this one darker, so let's go find a hue. So I'm going to do orange, I haven't done that in a while. Tricky thing with like a color of yellow or like a color that's kind of bright is that you can't really do the dark color that dark or it'll look all um, muddy. So now I'm gonna pick something like up here, do a uh, light orange. Um, kind of mess around with it. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> now I kind of wanna. Um, drag it in. See how that works. I don't want to make it quite sharp with this because this is um kind of sensitive. Actually, I'm just gonna change it to red. Wait. Um. Usually, I bring this one in, and here you want to make sure you can see at least three shades. If you can't, I usually add another one. Bring that down a bit. Bring that up a bit. Okay, that looks good. Now click OK. And you want to do an inner glow, or I just like an inner glow because it kind of makes it um, a little 
different. Now you want to change the size to 18, or you can play around with it less or more. But um, you kind of see how that works. I'm gonna change it back to 18, and that's all. You can play around with these other ones too, but um, I'm not really gonna. So I just hit OK, and I'm gonna do the same one with games. 13, 12. I'm just gonna do this one pretty fast because, um, yeah. I already know all my settings that I do. Change the color to black. Center. And then, um, gradient overlay. So I'll click and make a games about a greenish color. Okay. You can also do it into white because that kind of looks like a um a reflection of some light source. If so, if you have like a sun or something, you could do that. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm just gonna adjust it like that. It's pretty good. Now I'm just gonna move back down. Back it down a little bit. There we go. Just play around with your settings. And that's it. So, it'll, so hit OK. And that's it. And if you want to add like anything else, like um, I have a pre made chest here. And so I'm just going to add a chest maybe. Drag the layer on. And um, it's going to be huge. <laughs> so you just want to hit. Oh, wait, this is in the text. So I just want to close the text with that arrow. Put it under the player. No. Um, yeah. And then... You can just rename it to chest or something. And then hit Control t hold Shift, size it down to proportion, and then put it wherever you want. And... I like it right there. Hit on to save your changes. And there we go. You got a thumbnail. And I kind of like these thumbnails a lot. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of these. And yeah, that's basically all you have to do. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to help you. Um, yeah, that's basically it. See you in the next video. Okay, um, I forgot to show you how to save. Um, that's a bit embarrassing. Now you want to go to File, Save As, or Save for Web. I like Save for Web. And then just, you can see your changes. You aren't going to see much in this, but, um, yeah. Now save. And just save it to what you want. Shave. And there you go. So now, hope you enjoyed. Peace.